Another great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Lady Ada, user power of engineering, help you ESC find things on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada. Can, I'm not going to be able to find it. You know, there was a there was a tweet. I'm like, okay, it's not fine. Um, okay, so today what I was going to do is um, I saw somebody um, on social media, and the link is in the text, but I don't I don't have it. That's okay. Uh, so check the text for the YouTube. Um, and they were fixing a Sega Master System, and they needed a uh, 7805 um, to replace it. And somebody was like, oh, you know, there's also 7805s that have um, higher current output. And I was like, oh, you know, I never covered just finding your standard 7805 circuit. So pretty much every engineer, when they start, um, you know, doing electronics, one of the first things they do is they build a, reg you know, a, a, a power supply off the 7805 because you know, basically you give it seven to 35 volts. It gives you five volt output. It's like pretty indestructible. Um, you know, you do have to give it a fairly high dropout voltage, which is one of the downsides of 7805. Um, and if you want to give, if you want to actually sync 1.5 amps, you have to heat sync it. Like you can't, you can't just be like magically, you know, one and a half amps comes out. You do have to have a heat sink. And so, I think we have in this shop, and of course, Digiki has tons of, you know, if we haven't covered heat sinks, maybe I'll do that next time. You'll definitely want at least a heat sink. You can, see, you can even see this is 7805. Um, this one will give you like a little bit more juice out. If you really want to get a lot of current, um, use a very big uh, heat sink. To be fair though, if you're going to start spending money on a heat sink and stuff, I would actually say like, you know, these days you can get a very inexpensive buck converter for the same price. So I think we have a DC DC buck that is, yeah, like these, for example, but there's, there's tons of them. Um, you know, Traco makes them, other people make them. They, you know, take the same regulated output with the same LM XX regulator spacing. Um, but because they are uh, buck converters, they're extremely efficient and you don't need a heat sink. So I'll definitely um, recommend, you know, and then the you know, Digikey Stoxies as well. Um, maybe again, like I'll show them really fast. Um, using these is definitely an upgrade, though they're chunkier, so they may not fit. So let's go and just, let's just quickly show the 7805 options. Um, okay, so they're an LDO. And let's only look for in stock and shipped by DigiKey and Active. So ones that um, will ship. Let's do the stacked. And then uh, 7805, the 05 means it's, you know, five volts output. Um, and then current output. So um, you're like, oh, one point you know, 150 milliamps. Well, you can get 7805s in other packages. They come in uh, SOT 23s or whatever, or SOT 223s or just D packs or whatever. Um, so you'll get them with different current ratings. However, let's go for one and a half amps because it's like a good, good chunky amount. And then we do want it to be a TO. 220 which is a bunch of different families so when you see like the abf fp that's usually the thickness sometimes they're like a little bit bigger or they have like slightly larger tabs something to watch for then here's your options so a lot of options i mean i would definitely say um you can start with you know the 7805 classic uh linear voltage regulator uh in to220 you know, available for like 50 cents, 20 cents in quantity. So like you just need a replacement. Uh, this will do the job. And then I think somebody was mentioning that there's also the 78 S05. So one thing is that they like to, people like to stick other letters in. So this one is a version that does two amps. Uh, although this is no longer manufactured. I don't know, maybe we'll quickly, just since we already found that regular so fast. Maybe we'll find another one that is uh, TO220 and uh, maybe it can do two amps. So let's do fixed. And oh my God, there's so many options. We'll do through hole. And okay. Oh my God. Okay. Down to a thousand. Um, 
we want positive looks like there's a lot of series chips one thing to verify is you know like some things won't be called 78 but they're still pin compatible and i'll show you uh the pinout compatibility and then yeah let's look for something that has at least two amps of output let's say we want two amps again you'll need to heat sink the heck out of it or pick one with a very low ldo okay and then we want uh to220 uh three pin okay that's my options 70 options let's see let's let's pick one that's in stock and only available at digikey okay all right so the mic somebody's actually a little bit familiar so lt1085 um whoa that's expensive 11 dollars. let's look at uh pricing at 100 pieces and uh okay pricing so let's look at this one for example um this is the ld 1085 and i'll tell you what to look for so um this one can do up to three amps let's see the pin configuration uh yeah so it's uh input output ground oh i think this is actually different than the standard 7805 let's look at the 7805 pin out so thing to watch for is not every regulator is standard and i believe it's input ground output okay down 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 input ground output yeah so this one um despite being extremely cool uh will not work because the pinout is slightly different so 1085 series you can't do um oh let's look for one that has five volts output output fixed Five. I mean, maybe the 78 SO5 is the only one. I actually didn't look at this ahead of time. Okay, 1085, we already know. How about this one? BA50 from Rome. Let's see what. Oops. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, they got some big packages. LDO up to two amps. Let's look at the pinout. Cross your fingers. Input. Ground. Output. Okay, this one will work because it's got the right order. Uh, we don't use pin. Yeah, you know, this is the, the three pin version. 220 FP. Uh, v in input. Ground output. And that matches input ground output. So this is another option. So if you want um, a two amp output five volt regulator, you could also check out the BA50DD0T. It's going to be more expensive, but you know it's got this nice heat sinkable package. You can see how how chunky the package is. Um, it's designed for clamping onto a uh, into a a pretty big heat sink. Okay, cool. Well, at least I found two options: your standard 7805, and then your high current output non canceled, non discontinued 7805. So two good options uh, if you're repairing electronics. Again, if you're using, uh, if you're designing a new thing, stay away from the 7805 because it's got that huge dropout. Uh, and I'll just go with a buck converter these days. They're so inexpensive. Um, I think we've covered it a couple of times, like a five volt, two amp buck converter. Um, especially if you're okay with doing SMT, um, you know, you can you can get those regulators and inductor for about the same price as 7805. And that's a great search.